Jesus. This is where you have to trust the process. Oh, this is not a good look. I love this color for black women. Even though I try, I can't. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Diamond and today is a get ready with me. I'm in Atlanta currently and we're about to go out to dinner. We're about to go out in general, okay? I'm with my girl Kay for her graduation celebration. So I'm gonna turn up. She's on her way now, so I need to just start getting ready. So it's just a little get ready with me. Nothing too crazy. I really don't know what I'm gonna talk about during this get ready with me. I don't even know if y'all want me to talk or just tell y'all about my products, but yeah <laughs> we're just gonna go ahead and do it very quickly because i might run a little late first i start off with my brows this is an estee lauder brow pencil it's old i don't think they even have this anymore i think this is discontinued but for their new brow shapers it's in the shade chestnut for future reference or any anyone wants to know i do my brows pretty spiky if you like People don't like the the way people are doing their brows now, but I don't know. I like it. I like the the spikiness of the brow. It's gonna be messy at first, so right now I'm just filling it in. And I feel like a lot of people compliment me on my brows because of the how the way they turn out, but I'm going to show you my secret. So when I get down to like. This part, I kind of just lightly feather. You really don't need anything on there, but I just lightly feather it out. Let's see. Y'all, I'm so excited to be in Atlanta. I haven't been in Atlanta in a, in a minute, and that's currently my fault, actually. It's my fault, because I feel like I've been invited to Atlanta. I have, my dad lives in Atlanta. My god mom lives in Atlanta. It's like, I don't know. It's, it's good to actually finally like get out and come back around here and get accustomed to Atlanta Ugh. and it's traffic, stupid traffic. So now that the brows are kind of prepped, we're gonna go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wax Freeze or whatever, Brow Freeze? Brow Freeze, Brow Styling Wax. This is my holy grail. This is my secret. This is my secret to getting those brows up and lifted as if they were just laminated and they weren't. Like, I don't know what it is, but I'm sorry, yeah. But girl, you did that. I just get like a spoolie, like a little tester spoolie. I work at a beauty counter, so I do these all the time. And I just get a little bit on here. And I just kind of coat it just a tad. And then I'll brush up. Now this is gonna look crazy at first. And this is where this is where you have to trust the process because it's not gonna look good at first. You're gonna be like, girl, where is this going? But you just brush up. Like at first, when I first tried this, I was like, ooh, I don't want it to look crazy. And it started to look crazy to me at first. And then I was like, wait. Okay, you see that? Then I'm gonna just kind of lightly graze the top. You see how I did that? So it doesn't look as crazy. Okay, but that's not the finished product though. Once I got the brows laminated, I'm gonna go in with Bobbi Brown's Skin Concealer. This is in the shade Golden, so. And then I get like a little tapered brush like this. And then I'm gonna shape them. <laughs> like you normally would with any other shaper. You just, I don't know, some people like to keep that messy look and it looks good on certain people, you know? I do the same on the other side.
So these are how the brows are looking. I like how they look so far, so we're gonna keep it. And then I'm just go in with a little concealer brush and buff out the lines. Okay. Next, I'm going in with my foundation. I'm using Clinique's Even Better Foundation in the shade Ginger. I used to think I was in the shade Golden, but I'm actually in the shade Ginger. Golden was a little too yellow on me. I'm getting this everywhere. Oh, this is not a good look. all over the place now. Then I'm gonna go in with a brush and just Next, I'm gonna go in with a Maybelline's Concealer Eraser. I love this concealer, it's in the shade 140. It's just, it's just good, that's it. <laughs> it's good. Next, I'm gonna go in with Bobbi Brown's Skin Concealer in the shade Espresso, and I'm going to contour my face. I just do the basic contour, nothing crazy or major that I do that like you see on TikTok, like I can't. That extra, all those extra lines, girl. Just put it on, just put it on. Everyone's facial features are different. For me, this just works. Next, I'm gonna go in with Maybelline's Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade Medium Deep 30. This is my holy grail to a smooth base, okay? Like, I don't know what it is about this powder, but it does the job every single time. That's just all, this is all I gotta say. It does the job every single time. I just take like a brush. I used to be a sponge girl and granted, I think I still am. I don't know what it is about the brush and just I don't know. It just looks smoother to me. And I'm sure it still, it still looks smooth with like a sponge, but you see that? Like night and day. Look at that. Woo! And I got powder all over me. That looks so good. I'm gonna prep my lashes, go in with my eyes, blush, highlighter, and then we will be done. And we gotta get the hook up out of here. I just got some like kiss lashes. I'm gonna prep. The key to putting on lashes when you glue it, you have to wait. Let it sit for like a minute or two. That's what I do. So I prep these, let them sit while I'm doing my eyes, and then I'll apply them when I'm done. So, so I'm gonna do something very simple, very basic. I always do it. I'm gonna go in with this Clinique holiday palette that I have and I do browns, I'm a brown girl, so I'm just gonna go in with this brown and then I'm gonna go above it right under my brow with that lighter color. 
So it's just something simple. I just go all over the lid, the eye, the crease, all over like that. <laughs> I've been anxious all day, like oddly anxious. Maybe because I haven't really gone anywhere in a long time outside of Alabama, so I don't know. <laughs> Just like, oh, I'm going with Clinique's eyeliner pen. I love this pen. I do a good little wing, so not necessarily a Nicki Minaj, but close enough. Like I said, close enough. <laughs> then I'm gonna go in with Clinique's gel liner in black, of course. And then I'm gonna go in my waterline with it. that was then I'm gonna go in with Clinique's hi-fi mascara in black as well and just go in now if you like if you want to try this mascara it's not about mascara the only thing I will say is it has fibers in it to give it that volume and that thickness and you would think that it's like shedding but it's not it's the fibers in it so if you feel like that's gonna annoy you, you know, just heads up. But I mean, I like the results that it gives me. So <laughs> it just depends. That's it. Boom. Go ahead and do the blush before I put on my lashes. I'm gonna let them sit a little bit longer. But I go in with Estee Lauder's blush and Spiked Berry. I love this color for black women. Oh my gosh. Love this color, it's so beautiful. It's, it just, you know some blushes are just ashy. You know, this one is not. It's actually really good. You need a little bit, like a, because baby, this can be pigmented. Look at that, look at that. It could be ooh, pigmented. <laughs> so I just slowly build up with it. Ooh, Jesus. Ooh. They really gonna think you flirting, girl. They really gonna think you flirting, but you not, girl. You gonna be blushing, but you not, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Look at that. Like... I do put a little bit on my nose. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a nose blusher. I'm a nose blusher. So I'll go back in with this brush and kind of tone it down just a tad. And for a highlight, it's gonna be really one of my last things, honestly, my last thing. I'm gonna go in with this golden shade. You can go with any golden highlighter. I'm just using this old MAC Christmas palette that I got like last year. And I mean, it works as a highlighter for me, so. You know, I just go on the bridge of my nose. Do, 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 do. Yeah. And just do a subtle pop. A, a, a subtle pop. Yeah. Now we're gonna go in with these lashes. I apply lashes by hand. I know, I'm crazy. I kind of like the waviness of my hair. I'm just gonna bump it right here just a tad. Just a little bit, like up at the top. Give it some volume a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, because I like that. 
So for the lips, we're gonna go in with Anastasia. I've done reels and shorts on this set alone. I do overline my lips because my lips are pretty small <laughs> to me. I wouldn't mind getting lip fillers though. I'm just scared. You know, like what if they like look crazy on me? Cause I don't want like a duck. I ain't got time for that. I also put some Mademoiselle oil on me. So we're giving Mademoiselle Coco Chanel. That's what it's giving today. This is the finished look. We're gonna go ahead and put our shoes on and head on out. So I did not post this video out last night, but if you really enjoyed this makeup look, make sure you give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe if you're new. I just had a lot going on yesterday. I was rushing, and by the time I got done with my makeup, I scrub, scurried out without a clothes, okay? But yeah, so I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.